Hello, hola, and namaste from around the world to your classroom. This is Reggie Alexander. In this video, we are going to understand how to calculate the units and sales dollars needed to achieve a targeted income. Organizations generally use a variety of financial tools to help them to set and reach financial goals. One such tool is a calculation to identify the targeted profits. Knowing how to calculate the target profits is useful measurement for management tasked with setting business goals for the company. In this video, formulas and steps are provided for the calculation of the units and sales dollars that are required to achieve the target profit. Let's work through an example to understand this process. ABC Manufacturing Company has the following price and cost structure. Sales price per unit is $160. Variable cost is $80. Fixed manufacturing overhead is $80,000. If ABC wants to have a target profit of $100,000, what are the sales units and the sales dollars needed to achieve the targeted profit? The formula to calculate the required sales units to achieve a target profit is fixed cost plus targeted profit divided by contribution margin per unit. First, we have to calculate the contribution margin per unit, which is price per unit minus variable cost per unit. In our example, price per unit is $160 and variable cost is $80. Therefore, the contribution margin is $80, which is $160 the price minus the variable cost of $80. Now let's plug in the numbers into the formula. 80,000, which is a fixed cost, plus targeted profit of 100,000, divided by the contribution margin of $80, which comes to 2,250 units. Thus, you have to produce 2,250 units to make a profit of $100,000. The formula to calculate the sales dollars to achieve the targeted profit is fixed cost plus targeted profit divided by contribution margin ratio. First, we have to calculate the contribution margin ratio, which is sales per unit minus variable cost per unit divided by sales per unit. So $160 minus $80 divided by $160 that equals 0.5 or 50%. Now let's plug in the figures. Fixed cost plus targeted profit divided by contribution margin ratio. 80,000, which is a fixed cost, plus 100,000, which is a targeted profit, divided by 0.5, which is a contribution margin ratio, which will give you $360,000. Therefore, you need to make $360,000 in sales to achieve a targeted profit of $100,000. Another way to calculate the total sales required to make a profit of $100,000 is to take the total units needed, that is 2,250 times the sales price per unit, which is $160, which will give you a total of $360,000. Targeted income doesn't take into consideration the viable competition in the market. If a product is easy to produce and sell, there will be a lot of competition competing for the same market share. The price per unit estimated in the calculation of the targeted income will not reflect the change in accordance to the market conditions. Further, if there are external circumstances which will affect the variable and fixed cost, the targeted income analysis will not reflect those circumstances. Therefore, the knowledge and information about how to achieve a targeted profit for an organization is very important to the survival and the success of a business. Please feel free to explore more about this topic on check. That's it for now. Until next time, goodbye, adios, and ciao.